Hi, this is Farz and welcome back to Farzalo C and I'm here with another new quick retesting tutorial. This is the quickest and easiest one to do. Okay, uh, we'll use this picture today and you can see uh, there is a lot of blemishes or you can say this is acne. Uh, at first we want to remove this. Uh, so create a new layer first by clicking on this plus icon. Okay, now you can add some assistant layer. Okay. Uh, to find or to detect the blemishes correctly accurately uh, so for this just uh, click create a black and white adjustment layer and decrease the red value like this and look at this now look at this look at the changes now the blemishes are more prominent right decrease the yellow also a little bit and now just look at this look at the changes you can see the blemishes very very perfectly okay but it's a little bit dark to make it little bright go to the curves adjustment layer and select this point and just bring it a little bit higher and I think it's done okay uh, now pick any healing brush tool spot healing brush tool or healing brush tool and now come back to the layer one let's rename it to blemishes okay that's fine and now pick the sample from a good area by press and hold option key or alter key and then just paint like this okay take your time and do it okay uh, so it's done and make sure you have selected sample here current and blow and now just delete this two layer and look at this this was the before and this is after look at the difference this is hues and if you hide the background layer you can see all the fixed area okay so now the second part uh, we want to create another new layer so for this press shift option command and e okay that's good now press command and i to invert it and change the blending mode to vivid light that's good now convert it to a smart object okay then go to the filter and then go to the other and select high pass and look at this increase it gradually the radius value and i think 31 is too much okay and around 25 i think it's looking good so i'm going with 25 and as it is a smart object you can always come back and change the value then go to the filter blur and select the gaussian blur and look at this it also increase it from the beginning and I think around look at this I think around 10 is looking good to me okay I'm going with 8 that's fine and look at this you can always come back and double click on the Gaussian blur and sense the value again and also from the high pass okay now we are to create a negative mask for this press and hold option or alt key on your keyboard and click on the mask that's done okay now press b to select the brush and hardness totally zero percent make sure your foreground color is white and flow 100 percent uh, 15 percent or anything like 20 percent and now paint on the skin and that's it look at the senses okay let's zoom in and see this was the before and this is after okay
that's perfect look at this this was the before and this is after okay want to make another layer by pressing shift command option and e or in the windows shift control alter e and now go to the filter and camera raw filter and we want to add just a little texture to it around i think it's looking good you can add sharpness also and also some gray if you want oops just like this to make the texture really visible so i think this is done so now look at this before and after this was the before and this is after it's really really easy and simple trick to read us a skin or softening the skin so if you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe